Coliform Atlas stent has recently been approved by the FDA under the humanitarian device exemption for treatment of wide neck aneurysm in patients who are 18 or older. The enhanced conformability, ease of use, and the accuracy of deployment through an XT17 or SL10 is one of the attributes that makes it a good option for the physician and patient. The new generation Neuroform Atlas stent comes in with the hybrid cell design, alternating 16 and 24 ring struts to provide conformability, increased wall opposition, and less gaping than the Neuroform EZ. Another good attribute to the Neuroform Atlas stent is the hybrid cell structure designed to enhance stent opening and conformability in bifurcation and tight bend. The advantage of the distal 16 cell struts with open cell design is it allows it to anchor and oppose to the vessel wall very well. The second half of the stent or the alternating with the tight 24 struts allows it to have a good scaffolding, good conformability around the bend and recrossability because the final ring is completely closed cell design which is very tight and allows us to recross the stent very well. Furthermore, the deployment accuracy is very important for us in the angio suite. We want to deploy the stent where it's supposed to land. Another good attribute is the foreshortening and the accuracy of deployment. When compared to the other stent on the market, the foreshortening with the Atlas stent is the minimal in comparison to the other stent. The radial pressure on the other hand in the newly designed Neuroform Atlas stent it would enhance the ability of the stent to conform to the vessel wall, to oppose to the vessel wall, and to cover the neck area very well to provide a good anchor, good support, and good scaffolding to the coil mass inside the aneurysm. As the principal investigator for the IDE US trial, I'm pleased to present for you the first 30 patient long-term outcome data that led to the FDA approval of the device as a humanitarian device exemption. The typical demographic of the majority of brain aneurysm patients are female, about 80% of the patients were female. The average aneurysm size typically nowadays is about 5 mm plus minus 2 mm. The location as, as we all encountered, most of those aneurysms were in the anterior circulation and 20% or less in the posterior circulation. The primary efficacy endpoint was a complete aneurysm occlusion, and we used the typical occlusion scale, which is called Raymond Class 1, as our efficacy outcome. The secondary endpoint included technical success, the retreatment rate, the recanalization rate, the restenosis rate, and the rate of Raymond Class Scale 1, 2, and 3. The primary safety endpoint at 12 months were epsilateral stroke or neurological death. The secondary safety endpoint included major epsilateral stroke, device-related serious event, subarachnoid hemorrhage, and aneurysm rupture. So look at the primary efficacy endpoint. At the 12th month, we had 87% of the patient achieving a complete occlusion rate of Raymond scale of one. If you take off the people who are lost to follow-up and only look at the people who had an angiogram at 12 months, we have a success rate of 93%. One of the key results in the HDE study was the technical success rate. 100% technical success rate was observed in our HDE trial. So every patient with intended to have a stent deployed had the stent deployed across the aneurysm neck successfully. 90% of those patients with a single stent and 10% with two stents. In addition, more than 80% of those patients received the treatment with a stent-assisted coiling using the target striker coil. We had a good safety profile in this study, in the HDE study. We had only one significant event of ruptured aneurysm where the patient did a decent recovery subsequently, but it's one major stroke, which is 3.3% with no mortality and no neurological death during the study period. To summarize, there is clear safety and probable benefit of using the Neuroform Atlas stent in our daily practice. Thank you very much for viewing this update on the Neuroform Atlas stent.